An IV piggyback is a small bag of solution attached to a primary infusion line or intermittent venous access device to deliver medication over a specified period of time. As you prepare to give IV medication by piggyback, keep in mind the six rights of medication administration. Right medication, right dose, right patient, right route, right time, and right documentation. See the video skill ensuring the six rights of medication administration. Ensure the drug is compatible with a primary running IV solution and with any other medications the patient is receiving. Prepare medication for only one patient at a time. Pause twice during your preparation to compare the medication label carefully with the Medication Administration Record, or MAR. Administer the medication at the time ordered. This is especially important for STAT and NOW doses. Hello, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to be your nurse. I have some medicine for you. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll come right back, okay? Okay. After performing hand hygiene and ensuring privacy, identify the patient using two identifiers. All right, can you state your name for me, please, sir? William Turner. All right, and your birthday? 3-16-47. Ask the patient if he has any known allergies. Can I scan your armband, please? Thank you. Check the expiration date of the IV medication and compare the label with the information in the MAR. This is your third accuracy check. Discuss the drug's purpose, action, and possible side effects. Explain that you'll be administering the medication through his existing IV line. Give him a chance to ask questions and encourage him to tell you if he feels any discomfort at the IV site. Apply clean gloves and assess the IV site for any sign of phlebitis or infiltration. Use an antiseptic swab to cleanse the port of the Y site closest to the patient. Just going to clean it off. Attach a pre-filled syringe of normal saline to the port. Kink off the tubing above the Y site. Pull back slightly on the plunger and assess for blood return. Then slowly flush the line with 2 to 3 milliliters of normal saline, following agency policy. Withdraw the syringe. To set up the piggyback, remove the secondary infusion set from the packaging. Close the roller clamp. Insert the spiked end of the tubing into the medication bag and hang the piggyback. Squeeze the drip chamber, filling it halfway. Open the roller clamp and fill the tubing until all of the air has been displaced by the solution. Allow the solution to drip into a trash receptacle. Then cap the tubing and wipe the infusion port above the IV pump with an antiseptic swab. Then connect the secondary set tubing to the port of the main IV line. Twist the lure lock fitting to secure the tubing. Use the hook to lower the primary infusion bag so that the bag of piggyback solution is now above it. To administer an IV piggyback through a saline lock, Cleanse the injection port with an antiseptic swab and let it dry. Insert a pre-filled syringe containing 2 to 3 milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride solution into the port and release the clamp. Pull back gently on the plunger of the syringe and check for blood return. Slowly depress the plunger to flush the saline lock. As you proceed, observe the site for infiltration. Then withdraw the syringe, swab the port and let it dry, and insert the tip of the piggyback infusion tubing via needleless access. Twist the lure lock fitting to secure the tubing and secure it with tape as needed. 
Now regulate the flow of the piggyback medication by setting the rate on the infusion pump or adjusting the regulator clamp on the primary tubing. Infuse the medication over the period of time required by your agency or recommended by a reliable medication reference. Remove and discard your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Once the piggyback solution has emptied, the force of gravity will automatically restart the primary infusion on a continuous IV. If needed, regulate the primary infusion to the ordered rate. Then discard the piggyback bag and tubing in a puncture-proof, leak-proof container. Or leave them in place so the tubing can be used again with the next piggyback infusion. For a normal saline lock, Disconnect and cap the tubing. Cleanse the port with alcohol and flush the IV line with 2 to 3 milliliters of 0.9% sodium chloride. Be sure to keep the IV tubing sterile between intermittent infusions. Remove and discard your gloves and perform hand hygiene. As part of your follow-up care, stay with the patient during the first few minutes of the infusion to watch for any sign of an allergic or other adverse reaction to the piggyback medication.